back in Florida and uh, the weather is a little cool but it's much nicer than it is back at Dancing Rabbit where it's been negative 16 as the low at night for the last couple of nights and I'm kind of concerned about my house. This area went through Hurricane Irma, didn't get the brunt of it, but there was some damage that happened in this neighborhood. Mostly just tree limbs falling. One of my plans for this trip is to go crabbing. Last year I wanted to go crabbing, but I never made it happen. And uh, I'm gonna be staying at my uncle's for the next few weeks house sitting for him and uh, I'm right near uh, the sound and it's a great place to go fishing and uh, I'm gonna check out the crabbing there and see if I can catch some of my own food. Got some uh, crab traps on Craigslist and they're a little bit worse for wear but they were only 20 bucks normally they're like 50 60 bucks for this kind of trap so uh, I'm gonna try them out drop them out there with my uncle's help, I was able to borrow a kayak. All right, I just got back from dumpster diving. Why am I dumpster diving? Because they say that you can use meat for these crab traps, and I don't want to go out and buy some perfectly good meat and put it in a crab trap. So uh, what better way to make use of meat that's going to be going to end up in a landfill then uh, use it to catch more meat so did a little dumpster diving and I got hopefully this will make good uh, crab bait but I got some uh, ham I think that's what that is I don't know it might be turkey or something some kind of lunch meat and then of course uh, fresh farmed Atlantic salmon product of Chile Saving that uh, salmon from having given its life to end up in a dumpster and in a landfill. But while I was at it, I also got some perfectly good oranges and some bananas. Which all of these I found in perfectly clean uh, cardboard boxes. Alright, so I'm about to head out and set these traps for crab and this is a mix of not only the dumpster dove meat that I got but yesterday I went over and at low tide there were several fish washed up on the shore and one spotted eel and I'm hoping they'll make good uh, good bait they should but uh, they do recommend using fresh meat but I would guess that crabs get all kinds so we'll see how they do I'm just gonna try to pack these traps full of as much meat as I can So I'm about ready to head out. I'm gonna take this kayak out and take it for a test run. It's a sea kayak and it, it's a lot skinnier than the one that I have at home. And so I'm gonna see how it handles first before I go out with the crab trap strapped to it. It's much calmer here. The wind has turned to the front and it's coming from the east. And the last several days it's been coming from the west, which has bring, brought the cold. But um, uh, it's coming from the east. There's not as much wave action out on the sound here, and it's a lot easier to kayak around. And I just put the first crab trap down. I'm not going to be able to film while I'm doing it. It's hard enough without the camera. And, uh, the other trap is loaded behind me here, and I'm going to drop it somewhere right around here. You can see them. Little far from the shore. I caught a crab, but it's not the kind that I'm looking for. This is like a little spider crab or something. And uh, I'm looking for blue crab. So we'll have to see what we can do. I didn't find anything in the other trap at all. So I guess I'll just uh, dump this little guy out of here and then drop it back down again. Well, I'm on my own desert island here. This is a spoil bank, which is where they they dredge up the bottom of the sound and then turn it into an island. But it's a nice little white sand beach, some trees, and I've got the kayak here with the crab trap on it. I was hoping to maybe find some more 
uh, fish to put in the bait trap. I'm gonna set the trap right out here somewhere because it's supposed to be a little deeper. I'm back out on that spoil bank and I just got my trap. Didn't really catch what I wanted to catch. <laughs> I haven't, uh, haven't really caught what I want to catch yet, but I'll probably use these little fish for bait for next time. And then I caught a spider crab. There was another bigger spider crab that I caught and I threw it back, but they're supposedly not good to eat. I'm also wondering if I'm attracting the spider crabs because uh, because the bait that I'm using is kind of rotten. It's not uh, not fresh bait that I'm using. So, but I'm still having fun. I enjoy like paddling around on a nice day in the sound here, and it's just like a, a beautiful day. It's a little cool, but still sunny and and fun to paddle around but unfortunately not having much success as far as food gathering. <laughs> I guess I gotta live here a little bit longer to perfect it and figure out how everything works. But I did get some more uh, bait for the traps from dumpster the other night. And uh, so I'm gonna rebait this trap. I also moved the other trap from way over there. I just don't think that area over there is got anything in it um, so I'll re rebait this one and uh, set it out but kind of closing in on the end of my time here I'll probably only be able to check these traps like one more time before I have to leave so uh, yeah I don't think it's gonna be a successful crabbing operation I haven't caught any crabs but uh, I just caught the, a huge redfish and uh, it's probably one of the biggest fish I've ever caught. And I'm at three trout, sea trout, one redfish here. I'll try to do this without dropping my phone in the water. But you can see I've got a bunch of dinner. And I'm pretty freaking excited that finally I figured out how to catch these fish. I just got back from being out on the St. Joseph Sound in this kayak behind me and I was fishing. Checked my crab traps. I only had some spider crabs in them so I'm not catching blue crabs like I want to be. But uh, I've gone out fishing a few times and I tend to just bring the rod with me when I go check the traps. And this time I actually caught some fish and uh, I think I'm figuring out how you catch fish here. So. Some of the fish that you catch here are sea trout, um, so that's a sea trout, kind of beautiful. I don't know if they are related to or taste similar to uh, like regular trout from streams, but they look like trout. And then this is a big old redfish, um, and uh, that's a pretty big one. Got some serious fish meat to eat. This one's probably about 23 inches or so. And uh, and it weighs, I don't know, probably weighs like six pounds or something. But this is what I've been looking for. So I got three trout. One of them's considerably large. This one here. They have really sharp teeth, so I don't want to hold it by its mouth redfish you can do that with but these these trout have huge huge teeth pretty proud pretty happy because uh, I've gone out so many times and it's just today was a warm day it's the first really warm day that we've had and when that happens the water in the flats the shallow flat starts warming up and the fish come in to feed and I guess I just got the right time and place and with the right uh, technique so now I know what to do and I know what it feels like to catch these kinds of fish and um, hopefully I'll go out and catch a lot more food. I love eating local food. I've got some fish head soup going here. I just put four head fish heads in water and boil it down to make some stock and now I've added some vegetables to it. I actually <clears throat> sorted through the fish heads. They sort of fall apart into bones and there's certain spots that you can take out where there's lots of meat. So that's what I put into the, into the soup here. And uh, 
the rest of the fish put in the freezer. Um, that's basically just like the fish bodies and I'm gonna save those for for when Zeke and Elizabeth come back and we're gonna eat together since um, they've let me stay here and they did so much to uh, get me the kayak and the, and the paddle and uh, make it possible for me to do the fishing in the first place. I'm glad I actually caught something because now I can uh, pay them back in some way. We ended up cooking up that redfish and redfish has this subtle flavor that's not fishy at all, it's just delicious. And uh, we were able to get a couple of different meals out of this one fish, it was so big. Well, I hope you enjoyed coming with me to scavenge local seafood in Florida. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, share, and give a thumbs up to the video, and I'll see you next time.